Hi, Sally Walker here, your hormone and slow age expert, and welcome to Spots and Acne Week, okay? So today's little talk is going to be about the natural, or perhaps what we will possibly call lifestyle treatments for acne. Now, we've been through the medical ones, and these are very important. So if you have a chronic, if you have a cystic nodule type acne, you definitely want to get off to your dermatologist and get uh, some medication. But I would say at the same time, you definitely want to start looking at some of the, the tips that I have here, the natural type tips, the lifestyle type tips, because this is going to help you keep acne completely at bay, okay? But uh, you might need to have that medication to just to kickstart things. Okay, so let's have a little look at uh, what, what I've got today. Now, the aim with the natural treatments is to reduce or prevent the increased sebum production. Okay, so that's what it all is about, isn't it? If you have increased sebum, you're going to have spots. And if you have enough of them, then it's going to be called acne. Okay, so we need to control that sebum production. And we can do this through different lifestyle choices, okay? So let's have a little look at what we need to be doing. Now, the first place to start, yes, I think you guessed it, is the gut, okay? Start with the gut. It doesn't matter what the cause of your acne is, start with the gut and see if this helps resolve it. Perhaps it will resolve completely and perhaps it will only resolve uh, a certain amount and that means there's another cause. So there could be the hormonal stuff. It could be the creams and the shampoos and things like this. It could be the mask, etc., etc. Okay, but start with the gut. Okay, so you want to heal your gut, and the best way to do this, the absolute best way to do it, and relatively easy as well, is by doing a seven-day bone broth diet. Okay, so seven days out of your life where you will only be eating bone broth and it, it might sound a little bit uh, challenging um the first couple of days might be uh, i promise you you will not feel hungry but obviously you're not eating the foods that you would normally be doing but it has a dramatic effect on your gut and thereby it will have a dramatic effect on the the, the pimples and the acne because remember about 80% of those that have acne have gut dysbiosis. So you want, to, you want to be healing this gut, okay? If not, then you want to be doing some kind of elimination diet. That means you want to be eliminating the sugars and the grains and the seeds and the gluten, especially this kind of thing. You possibly also want to be eliminating dairy. Now, not all of you will be sensitive to dairy. Absolutely. Uh, this is very clear in the studies that uh, acne is not necessarily caused by dairy. Not everybody has this particular weakness. So, so you might have to exclude it and you might not. But you definitely want to exclude your sugars, your grains, your seeds, this kind of thing. And gluten is top of the list there as well. You want to think about replenishing your stomach acid. That's an important thing because that is also what has been noticed that with acne, um, there is typically a low stomach acid. So in the notes below the, the video, you'll see where you can buy some supplements which will help increase your stomach acid, okay? So start with the gut, that's very important. Good supplements for a happy, healthy gut. Um, they're also uh, in the notes underneath here so you can see which supplements. And I would say at the very least, you wanna be getting a good probiotic. Okay, now what more do you need to be aware of or need to change? Well, stress. So we know that stress can create or increase acne. So if stress is your cause, then you want to do what you can to de-stress. So you want to start uh, being aware of what you're stressed of. And then you want to be learning some tools to help you de-stress. And it might be things like mindfulness it might be dancing singing it might be going for long walks it might be getting to bed on time and, and looking after that circadian rhythm it, there could be all kinds of things but you need to be aware of what is the cause of your stress and do something about it if you want to calm your acne yes now it's always good to get the hormones level tested especially if you uh, suspect that it's because of high levels of androgen or especially if it's coming in your menstrual cycle ladies 
then you want to get your hormones tested because you want to know is it the androgen hormones or is it one of the others is it progesterone so or is it cortisol because you can also get cortisol tested as well in the urine together with these hormones so you'll get cortisol checked you'll get testosterone checked dht checked uh, progesterone all the estrogens you'll get to know exactly what's going on with your hormones and then if there is a challenge with dht or if there is a challenge with progesterone or if there is a challenge with estrogen then you can be more specific with supplements and lifestyle choices so don't guess test yes okay um and other things which are going to be important obviously is the blood sugar thing so you want to start monitoring your blood sugar continuous bl glucose monitors are very very good they're also very, very expensive, but they will give you a, a beautiful picture of what's going on with your blood sugar all through the day. Otherwise, uh, getting one of those little uh, blood sugar monitor machines that you can you can buy at the, the chemist and you're going to start pricking your fingers and uh, testing your blood. So you, you want to be doing this several times during the day, not just once. OK, so you're going to get you, your fingers are going to be a little bit sore, I think, at the end because you're pricking the finger all the time. But you don't have to do this, obviously, the rest of your life, but you want to get an idea uh, within a 24 hour period. Is there a problem with my blood sugar? Is it too high? Then you're going to be mass producing insulin and insulin can then be the cause of the high testosterone's DHTs. Yeah. And the last thing you want to have, you know, the a really good, effective skin care uh, routine for your acne so you want to make sure you're getting the, the good products and I, and there is a, a couple of posts about uh, skin care uh, for acne so the different products that you can use etc and should be using and uh, you know this 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 sort of misunderstanding that we think we've got to dry the skin out because it's too oily be careful of that because it'll just increase the same at the end of the day so natural as a support to the medical treatments, possibly natural uh, after the medical treatment so that you prevent it coming again. So hope you found this interesting. Happy hormones, happy life.